Hundreds of people, including friends, family, and politicians, turned out today to say goodbye to a federal officer gunned down in Oakland. Federal Protective Service Officer Dave Underwood was killed at the end of May in what authorities say was a targeted attack on law enforcement. Police say a man who had aligned himself with an extremist group is responsible. KPX 5's Dolan is live for us at Pinal Valley High School where the memorial service was held. Doc? Right, this is today's program for that memorial surface service. And you've probably seen this picture, Dave Patrick Underwood's picture in the news in recent weeks. And of course, the protests and the topic of police brutality. His family says the sacrifice that officers are asked to make is something that is often forgotten. Dave Patrick Underwood was better known as Pat. Family and friends say he was a people person, always respectful and willing to help. That was why he went into law enforcement. He died with honor, he died with dignity, and he died with respect from the people in the community that he loved to serve. Patrick was a hero to us. On May 29th, police say a gunman opened fire and killed Pat while he was guarding the federal building in downtown Oakland. A protest was taking place nearby. We're not crying black tears. We're not crying white tears. We're crying human tears. We're not crying Republican tears or Democratic tears. We're crying heartbreak tears. We're not crying law enforcement tears or law deprived tears. We're crying justice tears. While they support the demonstrations for police reform, family and friends say it's easy for people to forget the risks officers face every day. They say it can feel like a thankless job, wanted when people need help, and criticized when something goes wrong. Patrick was murdered by the blind violence of hatred, ignorance, fear, and discrimination. Can you say his name for me, please? <laughs> say his name. His life mattered to us. As they celebrate his life and honor his service, his family reminds people to avoid putting a broad label on law enforcement. They say they too feel the pain of a senseless killing. Protective security officer Patrick Underwood, gone but not forgotten. Patrick Underwood, you stand relieved. We have the watch. His family says Pat had already bought an engagement ring and was about to propose to his girlfriend. That ring is now with her. Pat was 53 years old. Live in Pinole, I'm Da Lin, KPIX 5.